Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This time, the presidential brokies will be making a Cheesecake Factory tier list. Comment what video idea you want to see next. The rankings go from S tier to trash tier, with S tier being the highest and trash tier being the lowest. Let's dive into the Cheesecake Factory menu and see what's what. First up for judgment, the avocado egg roll. Avocado in an egg roll? That's like mixing business with pleasure. I'm intrigued. But are they really worth the hype? I mean, avocado can be hit or miss in certain dishes. I'm skeptical, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Let's see if these avocado egg rolls can deliver the goods. Spoiler alert, they do. Creamy avocado, crispy shell, it's like a party in your mouth. Rating for the avocado egg roll, a solid B tier. Next up, the bang bang chicken and shrimp. Bang bang chicken and shrimp? Sounds like a flavor explosion waiting to happen. I've heard good things about this one. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Bang, bang, this dish is like a taste bud carnival, spicy, crispy, and oh, so satisfying. I'm not sure if it's the spice or the flavor, but something's definitely got me hooked on this bang, bang, chicken and shrimp. Rating for the bang, bang, chicken and shrimp is S tier. Bang, bang, bitches, moving on to the factory nachos. Now that's what I call nachos, loaded with cheese, beans, and all the fixings. And that cheese pull, it's like a work of art. Don't forget about the jalapenos for that extra kick. These factory nachos are the real deal. I could eat these nachos every day and never get tired of them. Cheesecake Factory knows how to do appetizers, right? Ranking for the factory nachos, a mouth-watering A tier. Next on the chopping block, the Thai lettuce wraps. Who knew lettuce could be so exciting? These Thai lettuce wraps are like a flavor explosion in every bite. And that sauce, it's like liquid gold. I could eat these wraps all day. All right, I'll admit it. These wraps are seriously good. Cheesecake Factory knows how to do fusion flavors right. Yuck, these Thai lettuce wraps are like swampy sandpaper with spicy chicken poop turds. Trash tier, garbage food. I'd rather eat my greens grazing from my superb Trump golf course. Up nest, the Louisiana chicken pasta. Louisiana chicken pasta? Sounds like a spicy adventure waiting to happen. But can it really compete with traditional pasta dishes? I mean, Louisiana flavors are bold. I'm intrigued, but skeptical. Let's see if this pasta can handle the heat. Spoiler alert, it can. Creamy, spicy, and packed with flavor, this Louisiana chicken pasta is a basic and mid-excuse for real pasta. Rating for the Louisiana chicken pasta, a basic C tier. Up next is the juiciest of juicy buns and moist meat, the Glam Burger. Glam Burger? That's like a burger on steroids. I'm not sure if I should be impressed or intimidated by this behemoth of a burger. Let's not judge a burger by its size, people. Let's see if this Glam Burger can deliver on flavor. Holy cow, literally, this Glam Burger is a meat lover's dream come true. Juicy, flavorful, and stacked sky high. S tier my homes. Now on to the basil tomato flatbread. Now that's what I call a flatbread. Simple, yet packed with flavor. And those fresh basil and tomato slices, it's like a taste of summer in every bite. I'm usually a meat lover, but I have to admit, this basil tomato flatbread is seriously delicious. Agreed. Cheesecake Factory knows how to do flatbreads right. Rating for the basil tomato flatbread, a refreshing position in B tier. Now let's travel to the culinary et and talk about their chicken pot stickers. Chicken pot stickers? Sounds like a party in my mouth waiting to happen. But can they compete with traditional pot stickers? I mean, chicken is great and all, but it's got to bring the flavor. I'm cautiously optimistic. Let's see if these pot stickers can stick the landing. Well, folks, I hate to say it, but these chicken pot stickers just don't pack enough punch for me. They're bland, they're boring, and they're definitely not winning any flavor awards. Rating for the chicken pot stickers a disappointing D tier. Now let's talk meat and potatoes. The Cheesecake Factory's Shepherd's Pie. Yet I. Shepherd's Pie? That's like the ultimate comfort food. But can it really compete with homemade Shepherd's Pie? I mean, Cheesecake Factory has some big shoes to fill. Let's give it a fair shake, folks. Who knows, maybe Cheesecake Factory has a Shepherd's Pie ace up their sleeve. Well, color me impressed. This shepherd's pie is like a warm hug on a cold day. Creamy mashed potatoes, savory meat filling, it's comfort food perfection. Rating for the shepherd's pie, a comforting A tier. Now, on to the crispy Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts? That's a bold move, Cheesecake Factory. But can they really make Brussels sprouts exciting? I mean, they're just little green balls of, well, green. Let's reserve judgment until we've had a taste. You never know. These Brussels sprouts might surprise us. Surprise indeed. These crispy Brussels sprouts are like little bites of crispy, flavorfulest crap. Who knew veggies could be this depressing? Rating for the crispy Brussels sprouts a D tier. Now to my favorite food group, cheese. 
Up next, mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks? Now we're talking. But can they compete with classic mozzarella sticks? Let's not judge a mozzarella stick by its cover, folks. Let's see if Cheesecake Factory can deliver the gooey, cheesy goodness we all know and love. Well, folks, I hate to say it, but these mozzarella sticks just don't hit the mark for me. They're bland, they're boring, and they're definitely not winning any flavor awards. There are no flavor awards, Trump. Closest thing you have to that I Guy Fieri's Flavor Town, and that's not even a real place. I checked all the White House files, and I can't seem to find this rumored Flavor Town. Rating for the mozzarella sticks, a disappointing D tier. It's like a bait and switch from crispy, beautiful mozzarella sticks to wet fish salad. And finally, the original cheesecake. What do you guys think about this one? Ah, uh, the original cheesecake, a classic for a reason. Creamy, rich, and oh so satisfying. It's like a slice of heaven on a plate. I could eat this cheesecake every day and never get tired of it. Cheesecake Factory has truly mastered the art of cheesecake. Forget the main course. I'm diving straight into dessert with this original cheesecake. It's luscious, velvety mouthful, gives me the tingles, and makes me want to bathe in milky sugar tub of dreams. Just plop some glazed strawberries on there and call me Big Papa. S tier in my book, motherfuckers. Speaking of which, Melania dear, can you get my bath ready for me? Make sure to throw extra heavy cream in there, will you? Peace bros, it's rubber ducky time. This was a great debate amongst the three presidential brokies, and we thank you all for watching. Hit that bell notification so you can see when we drop new videos, and consider joining the group membership so that you can vote on polls and what direction the channel will go in. Also, if you didn't know, we are real estate agents in New Jersey and New York states. That's why we're so broke, we work on 100% commission, but our contact info is in the description as well in case someone wants to work with some real deal closers. Another thing, we also have a full touch reel for people who want to make faceless AI videos, and the link to that course is in the description. The power is in the people. Have a great night.